Here we are today, Sound Toys today, yes, and we have been, you know, we snagged another awesome person off the floor because awesome people just wander around the show, they're everywhere. <laughs> and, and I'm going to let this gentleman introduce himself. Uh, hi, I'm Mark Needham. And Mark Needham, and you have heard this name, whether you think you've heard it or not. And I love to, I love to ask this question because it makes me feel good every time I How many records do you mix a year now? Four to five hundred, I guess, songs. That's why you've heard his stuff. <laughs> four to five hundred songs a oh, year. Hopefully out of four to five hundred, there's like a couple that are on the radio. You know? They heard something somewhere. So uh, just give us a, a quick little uh, like favorites list of things that you've worked on over the years. Oh, uh, it's so much. I know you can't do the whole list. Chris Isaac, uh, The Killers, Imagine Dragons, Shakira, Pink. Um, I know there's a bunch of them. So a pretty so diverse I, catalog yeah, of folks. Yeah. <laughs> I try. I try to. I try to do a lot of different styles consciously if I can, just so I don't get locked too locked into being. Right now, it's the alternative rock guy. I don't, I'm trying to <laughs> like get. But I do a lot of other stuff. So. Right. That's good. That's good. It keeps you on your toes, right? It does. Awesome. Anything recent that you've mixed that you're like super excited about? It's just out or coming um, out. I've been working with a band called Mona that we helped develop. That they have a new single out that's doing really well. Um, just finished up a second album for Moby. Has one coming out in a couple of weeks, and then another one in the spring. That's been a lot of fun. He's you know, awesome. he's, he's so talented. Yeah, and that's a, a whole different genre, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's Mona. That's the new thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that what genre are we? That's alternative rock to pop kind of thing, you know. Okay, cool. The guy, has a, the, guy the, the singer Nick has a fantastic voice. I mean, just unbelievable. Awesome. I have to check that out. Everyone check that out out in the world there. So, all right. Uh, so obviously we invited you here uh, uh, under this logo for a reason. Oh, oh sound toy. That's oh, where we that's are. Where oh, we yeah, are. That's where we are. sound. Are you, you you know about those guys? I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So uh, I assume you use sound toys on uh, one or two of those 500 mixes. You know, I, I mean, I've said this before. I, the sound sound toys plugins are probably out of 400 songs or 350 songs so far this year. There's probably two or three that don't have a sound toys plugin, if that. So I mean, I, you know, it's really a, a, my go. It's it's the go-to effect. Echo Boy, Decapitator, you know, just all the all the stuff is really just a go-to plugin for me. It's 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 the only plugin that can probably consistently, maybe that, maybe one or two others that are consistently on every mix that I do. What do you use Echo Boy for? God, everything. Everything, you know. It's uh, I was using it for some reverse, you know, reverse lead-ins yesterday. I'm obviously using it for. On Moby today for a bunch of for some slap delays from ping pong delays. Wait, you were um, mixing Moby earlier today before you got here and, and started all this. I I usually start at five in the morning. I, I start really early in the morning. That's why you can mix three hundred. <laughs> so I try to quit by six now. I I used to do the you know the noon till six in the morning, and it's like I I, I love getting up at four in the morning and 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 you know by noon I feel like I've gotten. A bunch done. It's great. Those are the those are the college kids' hours, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually trying to stay married. I get I quit <laughs> at six. You know, I see see my wife and my dog. It's good. Awesome. So, uh, any other favorites? Any stuff that you use um, in particular? Tricks that you go? Hey, this is a sound choice trick, and this is I do this all the time. You don't have to give away secrets. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I use I use decapita decapitator in various. You know, settings from extreme to barely noticeable on a lot of different stuff, especially in the alternative rock world and all the all the vocals. You know, maybe on three, just a little bit of saturation. But um, I mean, I'm certainly dropping up to wild distortion on things. With the, I mean, I use Decapitator a lot. The Echo, you know, Echo Boy. I. I also like getting into some of the odder parameters and oversaturating Echo Boy really comes up with some interesting sounds. Good, good. That's why um, we built it that way. I mean, I've been I've been doing some videos on mixing and 
uh, I've had to do a, a forum on the online, and people were asking me how to, you know, how to what different plugins I use in different settings. And I mean, when I get a new plugin, I just like I turn everything all the way up. Oh, you know, like we love just you. Like, like make it. What, what's it sound like from just like cranking it up till us, you know, until you're up to, to ten? And it, what's it sound like? Our, our ten is pretty ten. It's good. We like it? that. You know, <laughs> we, but we, I just I like to find out what the extremes are, and then you know, it, at least I know how far I can go. So, it, um, I've been using a uh, little Alter Boy a lot on a, on two or three projects lately. We did a new Lindsey Sterling record. I oh, use cool. that on on a bunch of hers. Uh, you know, I mean, everything. For, were you using it for harmonies, or are you just messing stuff up? Or? We were using it. Uh, you know, I was using it to just change the, just using the format control a lot. Right. Changing voices. Get a different character out of yeah. same voices. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Um, so you know, I mean, everything you guys make, I love. I just got the new e new new EQ. I'm, I, I was playing with it. I'm going to start start on some mixes tomorrow. Brand new EQ mixes tomorrow. There you go. That's uh, Mark Needham, the master of mixing, already using our brand new plugin. It's yesterday we released it. I'll have it on a I'll have it on a record by tomorrow morning. So. Bam! Yeah. I'm always looking for that mic drop moment, <laughs> and I don't do it because it's a nice mic and yeah. it makes a loud thump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <what's> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, anything else cool going on? I think I asked you if anything else was coming up, and you said. Uh, we're working with uh, Lindsey Buckingham and Christine McVie nice. and the Fleetwood Camp on a new project starting, you know, toward the end of the month, and uh, just to, trying to make a bunch of records. Just, well, you are making a bunch of records. There's no doubt about trying that. To, you know, try, trying to make one that sells a bunch. Again, <laughs> <you know. laughs> sells, well, I guess if you make a bunch, then it increases the odds. It's like doubling down in <laughs> blackjack. You know, the more you make, the better the odds. So that that's the tip for all of you coming up mixers. Just mix 150, 300 records. 12, 12 hours a day, six days a week. You know, after right. 10 years, you you know the odds are from from 5 a.m. Yeah. So that's how you that's how you succeed. All right, uh, Mr. Neum, I really appreciate you coming by and helping us. I'm going to put my glasses back Mitch, on. I love everything you guys make, everything you do. It's, you Thank know, you. It's, it's, Thank it's such a big part of what I do. I love you guys. So. And we love you for loving us and using our it's stuff. It's just a love fest love, here at love, the AES, right? Love fest at AES <laughs> over at the Sound Toys booth. Come by and love us as well. All right, Thanks. Bye. <laughs>